This week we have 18 uh, sea cadets from up and down the eastern seaboard. We kicked off this morning on, on Monday and we immediately had the cadets come over to the simulator building. So we have brought them to the Expeditionary Fast Transport Simulator uh, where they have been immersed into the atmosphere of learning to drive an EPF and also into the small craft bridge which allows them to drive smaller vessels. Uh, in the one instance here was a landing craft. This afternoon we're going to get them into damage control where they will be inside of a wet trainer and they will be allowed to stop progressive flooding on the ship and learn how to really save in the ship at sea. Where they are, they are learning that they are the ones that are going to come to the rescue. They're going to be the firefighters on board. They're going to be the mechanics and, and everything else that goes involved in it. Wednesday, the cadets will return back to us and they will be fully immersed in firefighting. Where again, they will learn about uh, being a firefighter on board. They will fight active uh, live fire here. They will dress in all the gear that they will, would dress on a ship. They will do helicopter firefighting. Uh, they will do search and rescue inside of a building and they will spend the entire day doing that. Thursday we will have a ship's reaction force training. So that'll be where they learn how to do the security side of things on board of a vessel. And I think that one has really piqued the interest of the Sea Cadets, so I think that'll be a good uh, event for them. I think it's important for us to have these essentially outreach programs, at least a start of one. The Sea Cadets are, are a great stepping stone. Uh, they will help aid in recruitment efforts in the years to come. Uh, the idea here is to allow our younger generation, our, our youth, an insight into another career path. Whether or not they choose that is really up to them, but I think it's our, our best interest in order to show them what's out there, to show that they can support their country in many different ways, whether it's active duty military or federal service. And for us, uh, the Merchant Marine through Military Seal of Command is, is vitally important to the future of this country. Again, the, the Merchant Marine, is, there's very little known to the American public about what we do. Um, if you look at the commercial sector for the Merchant Marine, most people in the U.S. don't realize that all the products that we're buying, 90% of which come by ships. We do a complete resupply for the U.S. Navy and foreign navies across the world. I think people assume that that is all done by the active duty service members and that the that they don't have the ability to serve their country unless they're serving in the military. And it's quite contrary to that, that uh, with Military Seal Command, we have 5,500 civil servant mariners around the world that are doing those wartime efforts. Um, and on top of that, we do have the contract mariners that support the roles as well. So it is vitally important to the country and to the wartime fighter out there to have that service as employed by, by MSC.